Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. And we're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of the notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about Kenya Moore, Mark Daly, Real Housewives of Atlanta, and the upcoming episode on Sunday. Now the blogs are talking. The blogs are all out here because Kenya Moore has changed her name on Instagram and Twitter where it doesn't say daily anymore. It doesn't say Kenya Moore daily. It doesn't say daily. Nowhere, no shape and form. But she still says that she is a wife, baby. She's still a wife and a mother. But people are assuming that Kenya Moore may have removed you know mark daly's name because of the episode that came on sunday we don't know if that's true or not that's allegedly but she could have moved his name because she just wanted to or she could have moved his name because after you know watching the little clip and probably people coming at kenya more talking about mark daly's this mark daly's that or maybe the feelings of hurt that she allegedly felt when mark daly you know walked out and said you know he don't like to be married. Allegedly, he said he don't like to be married. And Daly said he's over, overheard saying, I hate it. Everybody knows I hate it. End it. And he just walked off. And then next thing you know, not next thing you know, but it was realized that Kenya Moore removed his name. So, you know, this actually happened six months ago. So they had some time to heal and talk about the situation. So... If they are cool, you know, Mark Daly and Kenya Moore have been holding hands. We have seen them at events together. You know, we saw them watching Snow in Atlanta and everything else like that. They've been co-parenting, throwing birthday parties and everything else like that. And um, it seems like they're on a good, you know, step and on a good page. But then people are like, why she removed his name? Lord, only only Lord knows, only God knows, and only Kenya Moore knows, and Mark Daly knows why she removed his name. But so the episode that's coming up on Sunday, uh, Mark Daly is seeming like he wants Kenya Moore to stay put, you know, to sit down at the table and spend time with him and not get up or not, you know, get involved with anything else that could possibly be negative at the event that Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are throwing for a charity event. But Kenya Moore did say she did not want certain people there. And Nene Leakes was one of the people on the list. And you know what? Some people are saying allegedly, maybe, maybe not, that she probably didn't want Marlo Hampton there or Tanya Sam's there as well. And, you know, she felt like it would be a better event if they wasn't there. And she didn't want them invited. And she expressed her concern to Mark Daly about not having NeNe Leakes, especially not at her event because of their past history and how she felt that, you know, NeNe is not a friend of hers and NeNe has, you know, mistreated her and they had altercations and things like that and so she told mark and mark was like no nah, i want everybody to come come on you got to get past that no 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 this is a charity event and can you more went along with it you know and so i wonder if mark daly you know took kenya moore's advice and let her make the guest list would he have gotten upset and would he have been able to tell the other cast members that you know everybody knows i hate it i hate it and people are assuming from the clip that he's saying that he hates it that he hates being married and that's in the clip so we won't see the full show until sunday so right now with the little clip that's going around um everybody is like whoa and this is what happened while being asked at an event that mark and kenya is hosting if he enjoys the ride that he's married daily is overheard by microphone saying no i hate it everybody knows i hate it end it and then he walks out and he leaves and so you know this already happened six months ago and they got past that so i wonder why did kenya moore remove mark daly's name from her instagram and her twitter so mm, mm, mm. because now the feelings that she felt you know six months ago are all regurgitating probably 
and she's probably feeling a certain type of way and it can't feel good for her to have you know a clip or a statement like that said allegedly on tv because it hurts and you know she's trying to do much more with her relationship her marriage with mark and basically trying to make it work and you can see on last episode that you know she was listening to mark and when he wanted to invite everybody else to the event she was okay with it but she really wasn't okay with it but she let him take that stand and maybe she's just feeling hurt about the situation but we recently seen mark daly and kenya moore holding hands walking together you know, and everything else like that. So why would she take the move to remove his name? Lord have mercy. And then Mark Daly, he ends up going on Instagram and basically apologizing for what went down at the charity event at the Black Man's Lab experience. And basically said, unfortunately, my genuinely attempt to do something positive was compromised by my personal situation. For that, I must sincerely apologize and take solely responsibility. I want to thank all those involved with the black man's lab for their support after the event i would like to end by saying i have full admiration for the organization and i am always available to engage and contribute to its efforts mm -mm -mm. so mark daly is basically is he's he's taking sole responsibility for the situation and but he's not apologizing to kenya he's apologizing for you know the event might have been compromised and might have been looked at in a negative light and it's a sad situation because they all you know mark daly and kenya moore came for this event to do something good to be involved with charity and we know kenya moore has a history of being involved in charity work too as well and but he didn't apologize to her and maybe he apologized to her privately or whatever but you know when the internet hits when the comments hits when the blog hits you know sometimes it can bring you back to where you felt that moment the incident happened because even though they got over it and it seems like they were working things out it could hit hard and then you know it could have led to or maybe or maybe not to just have Kenya Moore name on her Instagram and not have Mark Daly's name on her Instagram. So you guys tell me what you think about that situation. I was like, Lord have mercy. Ooh, Lord is trying to tell you something right now. Right now. That's what it seemed like. So Mark Daly, he apologized. And let's just take a look at this picture. It seems like Mike Hill's like, yes, I'm in the photo. I'm up front. I'm looking good. Yes, I'm the man. You can see, and I'm not involved in no drama. And you see, you know, Todd talking. He got his hand in his pocket. He is chilling, baby. And he can barely fit in, but he's just sitting there like, yeah. Greg is like, yes, I, I'm, I'm in the clear, baby. I can cheese. I'm here. I'm shining. Mark Daly just looks like, what's going on? This is not the type of situation i wanted to go down at this situation but he still got a little smirk a little smile on his face because he knows shit is going to hit the fan allegedly between you know all this going down at this event and basically casting or maybe a negative light on the event and that's not what he wanted and I don't believe that's what Kenya Moore wanted either. And you can see Dennis McKinley. He's over there trying to get into the photo. He's trying to get into the picture, baby. He is trying to. He's on his tippy toes. He was like, yes, I'm being photos. And I'm with my wife is here. You know, my fiance, Porsche's here. And I'm chilling with guys. So you guys ain't got, got me in the diner following me. Look at my post. I'm here chilling. So the dude in the blue was like, I'm the best. <laughs> That's the way he looks in the picture. I just thought, you know, the, the, the picture was, you know, interesting. Mark Daly just looked like, damn, we here now. <laughs> so what do you guys think about this situation? I was like, damn, Mark, Mark must have really been upset. He must have really felt a certain type of way for him to, you know, said just let's, let's end it. Allegedly, let's end it. I hate this. You know, I hate this. And basically, you know, it's insinuating that, you know, from the clip that Mark Daly is saying that he hates being married. I was like, Lord have mercy. So what do you guys think about this situation? Like, it's a sad situation, too, as well. Um, it should have been a nice event. It should have went well. It shouldn't have been no problems. It should have just been okay. But it seems like Mark Daly wanted, it seems like, it looked like, and 
it possibly could be something else too until we see the full episode that he just wanted Kenya Moore to sit next to him and probably not involved herself with you know the rest of the cast members because something negative could happen because he knows from what Kenya Moore told him and what she expressed about who she wanted to attend the event so I think basically he was trying to make sure trying to shield that from happening and asking Kenya Moore to just, you know, sit at the table. Don't get up. You know, stay stay right next to me, baby. Like, so. And and some people feel like, why can't she get up and host the event? It's her event. It's your event. And um, it is what it is. I was just like, Lord have mercy. And then you got Nene in a clip of, of the small clip. Saying that I ain't never seen them lovey-dovey. But at least the episode last week. You know, they talked about their sex life. Some people don't believe it. Some people do believe it. But, you know. They were holding hands. We have seen them hold hands. And walk through places. And things like that. So, do you guys think Mark Daly was wrong for what he said? Did he really feel that way? Was he upset? Was he mad? Or... What happened that, you know, he went to the point to say that he does not like to be married, allegedly? What do you think pushed him to that point? You guys tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples.